Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to bring you a handbag comparison video. And the handbags that I will be comparing today is going to be the Chanel Jumbo versus the Chanel Medium. Both are classic flaps or double, double flaps. So I have both of the double flaps in my hand right now. There's the Jumbo on this side and this is the medium size. They're so heavy and big, they can barely fit on the screen. Okay, I hope you can see it. All right, so that's what it looks like inside of the dust bag. Let me see if I can zoom in. So let's go over the medium size first. So this is the Chanel double flap in medium size. And this is what the, bag, the dust bag would look like when you first receive it. Of course it comes in a box too, but everybody knows what the box looks like, so I don't need to show that. <laughs> All right. So this is what the medium size looks like. Isn't she a beauty? All right, so before we start, I just wanted to let you know this is not mine. The medium size is my sister's. I thought it was going to be fun to do a comparison video, so I asked her to borrow it so I can do this review or comparison video for you. Um, so she takes such good care of it. Wrapped in the tissue for the handles and everything. So basically, um, this is just in black caviar leather with the classic gold hardware. That's what it looks like in the front and the side and in the back. All right, so I'm gonna take this off. Show you. So here, this is the iconic Chanel lock. You just basically twist it up to open the bag and ta-da! It opens to one flat, oh, she has the cover on it still. All right, so basically you open up and you see that, oh, I'm sorry. All right, so basically, all right, so let's try that again. So when you first open up the bag, you'll see a smaller flap inside. That's why it's called double flap because it has this one and then another one inside the bag. And here you just have a zipper compartment and basically with the zipper compartment is so skinny and tiny that mostly we don't put anything in it. Um, and then it opens into this beautiful burgundy lining. Oh, so beautiful. All right, so just some tissue paper in it. She so wrapped it with the all right. All right, so this is what it looks like inside. And you can see the iconic Chanel symbol, which is stitched right there in the burgundy lining. And then in here, you'll see that's her authenticity card and then um, her care card. And then it says Chanel right there, made in France. Is it say made in France? Yeah made in right yeah chanel made in france all right and then basically it just opens into a big compartment right there and then a smaller little compartment right here what does she have in here oh bath and body works <laughs> coupon <laughs> i might want to put that back all right, so that is what the medium size look like. And in the back, it has a smaller little pocket like so. Oh, the medium size is so cute. Right, so that is what the medium size look like. All right, so now let's go into the jumbo size. And this is my Chanel jumbo. I got this Chanel Jumbo um, after I graduated from graduate school from my parents. So I treasure it so much. It is my little baby. And this is what the dust bag looks like. Okay. 
So this is what my jumbo looks like. It is also in black with gold hardware and caviar leather. I, when I first went into the boutique, I looked at the beige color, caviar leather, and I looked at the black and the beige color, um, lambskin. Oh my goodness. The lambskin is so supple and nice to the touch. It is so luxurious when you feel it, but I just feel like lambskin is so easy to get scratched. Um, it's harder to take care of. Well, I knew that I was going to use this as a day bag and it would be so much easier to take care of if I got it in the caviar leather and that is the reason why I went with this I don't regret it because it did last a very nicely uh, for the couple years that I've owned it now. Let's go over the dimensions of the handbags. So the Chanel Jumbo Double Flap is around 11.8 inches long or width and then um, for the height it is around 7.9 inches and then it's around 3.9 inches for the depth. That. So for the dimensions of the medium flap, it is 10 inches long and around 6.3 inches high and around 3 inches in depth. That's what it looks like. So I have something funny to tell you guys. We both got our Chanel bags at the same Chanel boutique and at different times, um, I got mine before hers. But the funniest thing is when I was comparing between the two, I noticed that one of, so my flap is not as shiny or dark as hers medium flap. And I said, what is going on? That is the weirdest and strangest thing. Don't you think so? Now I know that it's different batches and different dyes at different time. It'll look different, but I thought that was really interesting when I compared them. Hmm. Anyway, this is what the two flaps look like outside of its dust bag. This is the jumbo and this is the medium size over here. And it's so funny the size difference between them when it's just only a couple of inches off from each other, but it just looks substantially bigger, the jumbo anyway. Look like on the side, and then in the back, and there's no feet at the bottom. Notice the difference between the medium and the jumbo flap. The jumbo flap is bigger, so the bottom has that little line right here connecting the two pieces of leather together while the medium handbag or flap has one continuous um, leather going at the bottom of it. Okay, so continuing on with the um, top of the chains, both of the medium flaps and the jumbo will have two grommets here, right there, for the chain to slide through so you can wear it freely as a single chain or a double chain for shoulder look depending on what you like to wear or how you like to wear it. So here's the top of the jumbo. It still has that two grommets here where you can slide the um, chains towards to wear it as a single chain or a double chain. But I have to mention that with the medium flap, you can wear it as a shoulder bag with a single chain or a double chain. When you wear it as a single chain, it hangs really nicely because the straps are a lot shorter and it hangs perfectly for somebody who's around 5'4 or 5'5 height. But for the jumbo, it is substantially longer for the straps to be single straps like so. And when you wear it, um, because of my height, I'm only 5'4", 5 5'5", 5 5, and then it drops right down um, lower than my hips line and it's not very nice. So usually I rather wear it as a double chain and just wear it as a shoulder bag. So I'm going to show you how big the uh, jumbo and what it can carry versus what the medium size can carry. Um, I have some stuff here that I'll put in so you can see the size difference, all right? my trusty agenda. 
Oh, I still have tissue paper in it. All right, my mini iPad, my key pouch, my compact. This is what it looks like inside of the jumbo. And like so. And now I'm gonna close it. Oh. And there you can see it's very heavy. Oh goodness. No bulging, so it fits quite well inside. All right. So let's see what can fit in the medium flap. So I'm gonna try and see if this agenda will fit into the medium flap. It's like this. And I fit it in there. However, you cannot close the flap. So it is sticking out like so. So the agenda will not go. Surprisingly, the mini iPad is fitting in the medium flap. And then I have my phone, my compact, and my keychains in there. This is what it looks like on the side. This is what it looks like. The mini iPad is just bulging up a little, but I think I can close it. Yeah. So you definitely can close it with no problem. So the medium size is pretty nice. It has a lot of space and it can carry a, a lot of stuff too. Very interesting. It is so heavy when you put stuff in it though. Hmm. Now let's talk a little bit about the pros and cons of both of the bags. So for the medium, it is a smaller size handbag. I think even a small uh, size flap is a little bit smaller than the medium. Like right there and then it goes up about five inches or something like that but anyway this is a nice size if you are looking for a handbag to wear for the evening time to go out um, this is the perfect size i think it's roomy enough to carry a lot of your essentials and um but also small enough to not look overwhelming for nighttime um, that is a pro of this handbag However, for a morning or a daytime bag, this bag is a little bit small in my opinion because you can't really put an agenda and um, a lot of other essentials that you usually carry to the office or carry around running errands. Um, I wouldn't recommend it to get a small or medium size flap for the daytime. And to me, the jumbo size is a perfect size for the daytime because it is big and roomy enough for you to put your agenda, um, iPad, phone, um, makeup, and sunglasses, and etc. keys or whatever else that you would need to carry in the handbag for the daytime to travel around. So that is nice about its size. Um, however, I have to say the cons to having the jumbo versus the medium is that the jumbo, the chain is substantially heavier than the uh, medium size. I can feel it as even in the chain, just holding it right here, it is substantially heavier um, for some reason. Well, to do a size comparison with the chains. You can see the chain on the jumbo is a bit thicker than the medium size chains. So this is what they look like up close. As you can see this is the jumbo chain and this is the medium flap chains. So that's the reason why the jumbo is a lot heavier than the medium flap. Being that the jumbo is heavier than the medium flap, during the day when I'm running errands, it does get heavy on my shoulders and that is a definite, definite cons because I have to keep on shifting the bag from one side to the other so that I can bear the weight. Um, but I overlook that because I love the bag a lot and I think it looks so nice and chic to run errands in the morning time. Um, so yeah, I still love it even though it is substantially a lot heavier. Hmm. Yeah. 
So the price difference between these two flaps is around $600. So as you go from a medium size to the jumbo size, it'll be $600 more for the jumbo size. And um, let's talk about color transfer. Um, I've not noticed any color transfer, of course, because it's black. So it is almost carefree dark colors for any color transfer. So we're good in that department there. To make this mini review complete, I'm going to go over the packaging of Chanel. And uh, I bought mine at the Chanel Boutique. Usually I see other people, they would have a Chanel shopper um, tote that would say Chanel in the front, um, but I bought mine at Saks Fifth. And the only bag I, shopper bag I got was the uh, Saks Fifth um, shopper bag. So I just threw that away. And, um, I have this box that my jumbo came in. It is pretty massive and it's just a standard black box with the white Chanel word. And then it opens, it opens by a magnetic flap right here, like so. And it just opens into the box storage box. I still have my original tissue paper in there but yeah so that is what the box would look like and then of course you saw the dust bag earlier it is a, this little dust bag here it is so dirty I don't know what happens to it probably because I throw it everywhere but I guess I'll have to clean it soon and then it just comes with a, a care booklet and then this book that talks about the Chanel history. Mine is not filled out, but I have like how they make Chanel handbags. And then it came with this care folder. Basically in the folder, it just has the care booklet on the side and then the little wipe um, to clean the bag. And it says Chanel on it like so. So I use this to clean my bag. And of course, and of course this is the um, receipt package that I received. And I keep my uh, card of authenticity in here, like so. And then I have my receipt and um, the barcode for my bag. So that is my review as well as comparison of the Jumbo Classic Flap versus the Medium Classic Flap. Let me know below in the comment box to let me know which bag is your favorite. Do you like the Medium or do you like the Jumbo? Which one fits you the best? I would love to know. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please do also link it down below and I'll try to answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for joining in again and I hope to see you in the next one. Don't forget to, to like, comment, and subscribe. See you later. Bye.